Up until 1971, only United States citizens over the age of 21 could vote in the elections. There was a problem with that. 18-year-olds could get married, they could work, and they were expected to pay taxes just like their 21-year-old counterparts. On July 5, 1971, President Richard Nixon signed the 26th Amendment into law, granting the right for 18-year-olds to vote. Now a similar proposition was being made, to lower the voting age down to 16. It's not where you come from, it's where you belong, nothing I would change, I wouldn't have it any other way, you're surrounded by love and you're wanted, so never feel alone, you are home with me, right where you belong. In 1971, Democratic Senator Jennings Randolph from West Virginia proposed a constitutional amendment to lower the voting age down to 16. It passed through Congress with only 16 objections in the House of Representatives. It took just 100 days to receive the three-fourths majority required from the states to pass the amendment. As we approached the 2018 midterm elections, support grew to lower the voting age down to 16. High-profile politicians have backed this idea, such as House Speaker Nancy Pelosi from California and Ayanna Presley from Massachusetts. So I interviewed my fellow student to see what they thought on this issue. Hi, Jerem. Thanks for taking the time to do this for me. Of course. Thanks for having me. This is Jerem Gordon, a communication arts senior, lovely person all around, and my technical boss. Back in May 2019, he wrote an article about lowering the voting age down to 16. I interviewed him on his thoughts on the issue and the potential benefits. That's, that's been pretty vigorously debated in, in recent years and times, especially now with this election coming up. Nancy Pelosi, most of her Democratic colleagues in the House of Representatives have come out in support of lowering the voting age to 16. And I'm with them. I think uh, it would be a great idea both uh, for encouraging greater civic engagement and applying voting rights to those who deserve to have them. Some people are against this idea of lowering the voting age down to 16. Do you have any reason why lowering the voting age is a good thing? Teenagers, 16 and 17 year olds, actually have the same or even sometimes higher levels of competence and um, levels of information as they vote, uh, as people who are already eligible to vote. There is this misconception in some circles that their brains are somehow not developed enough or that they're not quite invested enough in the political process. Both of those statements are completely true in the ways that matter. As for the brains are still developing, misinformation. It is true that there are parts of the brain that are developing in adolescence, but these are the parts that have to do with something called hot cognition. Uh, that's involved with decision making that's sort of spurred, spur of the moment, um, more emotional and spontaneous. Uh, so that's part of the reason why it would be a good idea to say um, have the minimum drinking age higher than 16 or have the minimum age to purchase a gun higher than 16. However, cold cognition, which is involved in decision making that takes place over an extended period of time, um, that's not in high pressure situa situation, less spontaneous, more deliberative, that is the area where 16 and 17 year olds are just as developed as our 18 year olds, 30 year olds, and most eligible voters. And for the argument that uh, these 16 and 17 year olds wouldn't be invested in the political process, they just want to benefit themselves without paying into uh, the country as a whole. That's another fallacy, because 
because uh, as you probably know, um, teenagers are have a lot at stake in every political decision that gets made. We're allowed, for instance, uh, to pay income tax and work unlimited hours. We're allowed to to die in, in schools, sometimes at the hands of, of our peers. We're allowed to attend those schools, which are often severely underfunded, or uh, even sometimes segregated, as is the case in places like New York City. We are allowed to observe politicians as they uh, lay waste to the planet by not taking action on climate change. So there are a lot of issues that have a direct impact on young voters that they're not allowed to have a say in in a meaningful way. And by giving 16-year-olds the right to vote, they can push for those more forward-thinking ideas and they're more likely to vote in ways that uh, will be beneficial to the country in the long run because they're the voters who have to live with these decisions for a longer period of time.